Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got a good one for you. We will be showcasing applied Wing Chun fighting techniques in action. So I'm gonna show you my students working out back and forth different techniques from Bong Sa Lap Sa to fighting drills. Then I'm gonna show you a snippet from my own personal training where I do a shoulder workout. So showing you the different exercises that I do to keep up with power training for my shoulders. And then last but not least, it's a snippet from my podcast where I talk to you about how you should not compare yourself to others when training your Wing Chun. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here you will find Wing Chun related content like how to, demos, tutorials. So you may wanna consider subscribing. That way you can keep up to date with my weekly content. So guys, let us not waste time. Let's jump straight into it. Perfect, so here you will find me doing Bong Sa Lap Sa drill with my student Wilson. It's a great reflex drill, great sensitivity drill. Now you will find the students working on a fighting combination where you attack, cover and counter attack. Now anytime you watch our videos, you will find that my students wear protective equipment and uh, it's necessary for the type of training that we do in order for every practitioner to stay safe and not worry about injuring the training partner or getting injured themselves. Because the main focus is learning how to apply Wing Chun, which is the motto of the, of the type of training that we do at the academy. And also you will find that our students wear both MMA gloves and boxing gloves because each type of glove serves a purpose. It's awesome to see students from different classes that we have running through their paces, working on all these different fighting drills. You'll find students from different levels, different age groups, boys, girls, teens, adults, trying their best. I'm gonna share with you a bit of my shoulder workout. So first I start off with a dumbbell front raise. It's a great exercise. Then we move on to dumbbell lateral raise. I highly recommend you keep up with your fitness. Don't forget to stretch always between reps. We move on to incline bench press. We do a cable machine reverse fly and then we wrap it up with an overhead press. In today's quick video, it's all about not comparing yourself to others. See, many times when you come to the academy and you're in a room full of people training, many times students will tend to compare themselves to others. They'll say, hang on, I'm doing this technique and I see the person over there on the other side of the room, they're working on the same technique and they seem to get it a little bit quicker than I can or they seem to do it a lot better than I can. The moment you start to do that, stop and give yourself some credit. Number one, you don't know the other person's story. Maybe they've been working on that technique 10 times more than you. Maybe they've been working on it, who knows, for many hours and you've only recently learned the technique. So that's why it's not a good idea to compare yourself to others, all right? What you want to do is compare yourself to the previous lesson. How were you doing that particular movement the previous class, the previous week, the previous month? And if you see yourself slowly but surely improving and getting better, that's the key to success. That is how you will always keep on improving and getting better and reaching your goals. All right, so it's just a quick tip, but 
I find it to be very useful because it's one thing that I've, in my many years of martial arts training, have adopted, where I won't compare myself to others, but I will compare myself to my previous self from a day ago, a week ago, or a year ago. And if I do see, actually, if you do see someone training that same technique and you see that they're doing it a lot better than you are at that given time, go and ask them, you know, for tips, right? Um, of course, I'm there in the class always to help you, but hey, you're all in the same class, you're all Kung Fu brothers and sisters, go and ask that person, how is it that they got to that particular movement or that particular stance or timing or whatever it is, and then you can use that feedback and take it on board and see how you can adapt it to yourself. And in doing so, you will feel great because you will see that you are making progress and you will be fair to yourself, okay? So that's the quick tip for today. I hope you take it on board and I'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. There's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.